Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just filmed this look, which you might have seen already. I'm not sure in what order I'm going to post the videos. But yeah, um, I'm back again with the same look because I thought I would just keep filming since it's like a rainy day outside and yeah. So today's video is something new for me and it's pretty exciting. Well, maybe not that exciting, but I think it is. Um, and it is a empties video. So if you don't know what that is, it's um, basically my garbage. And I'm going to be reviewing or at least giving you some details as to what I can remember um, about these products. Um, these are actually some of my most favorite videos on YouTube because you really get a sense of what people think about the products because if they've used up the whole thing then they probably know a lot about it and how it worked for them. So yeah, I'll just get started and at the end I'll show you some things that are not empties but things that I'm passing on um, because they didn't work for me or I just don't need them in my collection. So let's get started with this box, well, this bag. Um, I'm just going to pull it out randomly because, yeah. So the first thing is my Aveda Tourmaline Charged Exfoliating Cleanser. I've been through like five of these, probably, maybe more. Uh, this was the only thing I would use to cleanse my face for years. and. Um, if you guys didn't know, I actually used to work at Aveda. I worked there for four years, I think, so I know a lot about their products. Um, and that's why you've seen me talk about them a lot in my videos. It's because I used to work there. So, this is actually one of my favorite products from Aveda. As it, the name suggests, it's an exfoliating cleanser, but it's not rough. You can use it every day. Of course, depending on um, your skin type, if you have very sensitive skin, some people say you shouldn't exfoliate every day. So there was some periods of time where I actually was using this every day and I didn't see like an adverse reaction or anything, but I do have like some redness in my skin. So I started to think, okay, maybe it's something I should do every other day. But anyway, like I said, depends on your skin type, whether you want to use this every day or not. But um, yeah, I really like this product. I don't know if they still have it actually. I'd have to check and I'll let you know down below. But um, it's a naturally derived jojoba exfoliating beads um, that are the actual exfoliator. So it's not plastic or like walnuts or anything crazy like that that's going to tear your skin up um, and it says it helps remove impurities and skin dulling surface cells which I agree with and it is a cream um, texture well it's empty so well you can see there's a bit there on the cap it's a cream texture um, yeah I really like this I would repurchase it but I have other exfoliating cleansers that I have to get um, through first and if this is even still available I'm not sure but really like this um, oh yeah this I put in there I don't put my sheet masks in my empties normally because I use a lot of them and it just be like kind of um, what's the word repetitive it would be repetitive because a lot of sheet masks they kind of do the same thing but anyway this is actually a charcoal nose strip from Sephora and I put it in here to tell you guys not to buy this because it didn't do anything um, and it's $4 for one strip so yeah save your money don't get this I thought it would be like those Biore strips where you like peel them off but it kind of just like dried up on my nose and wasn't sticking to my nose so it's not going to remove anything if it's not stuck there right so yeah it just didn't work so don't get this um and then i have sorry there's like cat hair on my face i finally got it off though um my garnier 
Skin Active Micellar Water. Um, yeah, this worked really well. But I mentioned in my last video or the one before, I don't remember, that I think this was like making my eyelashes and my eyebrow hairs fall out more easily. I don't know if it was this, but just something I'm throwing out there. Um, and then I'm gonna like keep track of to see if it still happens because I switched to the Tarte um, Micellar Magic, their new one. Um, but yeah, other than that, this worked really well and it's pretty inexpensive. You can get it at the drugstore. So I'm kind of disappointed that it might be doing that because I would have repurchased this. But again, we'll see. I'll keep you updated. Um, and then I have some cleansing... Oh, I have a lot. I have a lot. I have four packages of cleansing wipes. These ones, I really like these. I actually got these complimentary from Influencer with some other products in the lemon um, range. These are clean and clear lemon cleansing wipes. Refreshingly lifts away makeup and dirt, oil free with vitamin C. I really like these. Um, I did notice they actually did make my skin look brighter. Um, I wasn't, I don't think, yeah, I wasn't really using them for makeup remover. I would use them on days where, like, I was too lazy to, like, go in with an actual cleanser. I would just use these. I don't recommend using cleansing wipes every day. Um, because there is like a film that's going to stay on your skin because you don't rinse them off. Some people say you shouldn't use them at all. I'm not that extreme. I think it's fine in moderation, but I really did like these. The scent was nice. It wasn't too extreme. I will say that, um, because I like these so much, I went and bought the, um, they have pads that are shaped like lemons exfoliating pads and those the scent is very strong so i wouldn't recommend those if you're sensitive to smell but these were really nice uh, and then i had the simple sensitive skin cleansing facial wipes these here this was just a travel pack i think i yeah i used this up a long time ago when i went to jamaica so that's how old some of the things are in here. Um, there was only seven wipes in this um, package, but I really did like these and they did work for removing makeup. Um, and then I have the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes All Skin Types. This was, um, how many were in here? Yeah, 30. So, if you guys know Kirkland, it's the Costco brand. When you buy these, you get like a million of them in a box. Um, and you get like, I think two packets where it's like the smaller ones where they have this opening here. And you get like a bunch of other like bigger ones. So I actually really like these. I don't use them. Do I use them for removing makeup? I don't even remember now because some of these are old yeah I mean I guess I do but I do find I don't know something about them kind of worries me to use them as like a, a cleanser all over and using them too often because it's like not a skincare brand so it kind of like freaks me out but they are they do work really well I will say they have a lot of liquid on them um, and they're thick, so they're pretty, like, good quality also. Um, and then I have the Sephora Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. I really like these, too. Um, I did notice they're a bit too... I wouldn't say too hydrating, but they leave a film on the skin. So if you have oily skin, I think you would hate these. But I really like them. The coconut scent is really like a coconut water scent. It's not like a fake sunscreen coconut smell. So I still I have another pack of these that I'm using now. But I did use up one already. I think that's it for cleansing. Yeah. 
And then I have one of my like most favorite products ever, but I don't really buy anymore because they're too expensive for what they are. Um, they're the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. This is actually the small size. There's um, 28 pads in a jar. The big size has 60 pads, I believe. But um, this used to be $18. I think it's $18.50 now. And the bigger size used to be under $40, but now it's $40. I don't know why they raised the price because it was already way too expensive for something you use once and throw out, in my opinion. But these are, they're so good. So they're for exfoliating, toning, and brightening. I think they work for all of those. And the reason I really like these is because I have dry, sensitive skin. Um, these do not dry out your skin at all, and they actually make it really soft. They are very exfoliating. Like, the next day after I use this, there's like whole chunks of skin that <laughs> I can peel off of my face. I know that's pretty disgusting, but that just tells me like how much they work. But I'm not spending $40 on facial pads. I mean, I would buy them if they go on sale. Um, but yeah, I just think that's not worth it. So yeah, I'm not going to repurchase this for now. There is some makeup at the bottom of this bag, so stick with me if you're only here for that. You can skip to the end, I guess. But I have a shampoo here from Aveda. It's the Champier. Can you see? Um, this is really good. Uh, oh, actually, this is the conditioner. I thought I had... What happened? I definitely had the shampoo also. I guess I threw it out. That's weird. But anyway, this is the conditioner. Champier is like Aveda's signature scent. Um, they have like the soap. They have a dry shampoo, which I actually have in my hair now and I really like it. Um, and it's like their most generic line, like for any hair type. It ha it says it's with Moriku Protein. I don't remember what that is anymore. But yeah, the aroma is what really sells the Champier for most people. It's 25 pure flower and plant essences mixed together. It just smells really good. It's like um, there is a secret blend. So if you look what the fragrance is, it says Aveda's own pure flower and plant pure fume aroma. So they don't tell you what it is, but it's really nice. So yeah, I mean, the only people I maybe wouldn't recommend this for is if you have color treated like damaged hair. I don't think this would do much for you. Um, and you probably should be using something for color protecting anyway. But if you're just looking for something basic, this is really nice. And I love the smell, so. Um, I also had this Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion with Shea Butter. Um, I actually have eczema. Well, I used to have pretty bad eczema, like all over my hands and arms. Um, when I was younger, but I don't really have it that much anymore. Sometimes I get like a few flare-ups and I I was using this um, because it's for itchy, extra dry skin. Um, and yeah, I did really like it. I mean, it didn't cure, it's not an eczema cure or anything, but it does help. I think it has, yeah, a triple oat complex. So it's for like soothing the skin. I mean, it worked for what it is. I think Aveeno is pretty expensive though, if I remember, um, like for a drugstore. So, and I think I might like Eucerin better. I found it at Costco, like a big giant size. I have it right here actually. Yeah, this, I would actually recommend this instead. I think it's cheaper if I remember correctly. Um, this is the Calming Daily Moisturizing Cream with Natural Oatmeal, um, and it's 14 ounces, so yeah, fragrance-free. Um, this is really good for eczema. Obviously, again, not a cure, but it helps. So I don't think I'll repurchase this one, unless like for whatever reason that one stops working. I might 
look into it. This is in no order, like I'm going back and forth. So now I have another hair product. It's the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter uh, Conditioning Mask. This is a like mini travel size. I really did like this. It smells really nice. Um, I think I prefer the Briogeo Repair. What is it called? Rosarco Mask. I don't remember the full name, but I think you guys can find it um, and I'll leave the actual name down below. It comes in a tub. Um, but I've had like sizes like this of that as well. I think it's more hydrating, but I did really like this too. It's by the brand Diva Curl. So most of their products are obviously for curly or wavy hair, which I do have wavy hair. So I do like this brand and I actually was thinking about getting um, the shampoo and conditioner for wavy hair. If you guys have tried it, let me know because I'm looking for a new shampoo and conditioner, but yeah, this was good. Yeah, it smells nice. I don't know if it will tell you what it smells like. No, but it just says, let sit for three minutes. Uh, if you need intense hydration, you can cover your hair with a plastic cap and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. I never did that. I just used it in the shower, but yeah, it, it was good. And then another exfoliating cleanser. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, it's pore perfecting exfoliator. Oh, I still have fluff or something on my nose, sorry. Um, it helps refine the appearance of pores, deep cleans pores, helps smooth the appearance of skin texture. Uh, I don't really remember. I don't think I, I mean, I didn't not like it, but I didn't think it was anything extraordinary. I think I prefer my Aveda Tourmaline Charged. And this is a pretty expensive brand, Dr. Brandt. Most of the things I got from them, I got in BoxyCharm, so I've never paid full price. But if you look at Sephora, um, I think the products are pretty expensive. Oh yeah, and this was like a minty feeling on the skin. So I think I did like that aspect of it. Like it felt very refreshing, but I don't know if that's really good in the long term for dry skin. Um, but yeah. And you're supposed to leave it on like one to two minutes to let it activate and then rinse it off. I don't really think it did much for my pores but it did exfoliate so oh and then i have my belief the true cream moisturizing balm i went through a whole um jar of this it's empty uh i have another one as backup but i'm using like a mini size of something else right now so i haven't opened it yet but this is still to this day like even though i've tried other things since i've used this up i still think this is the best just for moisturizing so for someone that you don't really need your moisturizer oops sorry <laughs> if you don't need your moisturizer to do anything other than moisturize i would suggest this yeah it's a rich cream so there's a version for oily skin it's called the aqua balm but this one is the moisturizing balm i really did like this and i found this is one of the most moisturizing creams I've ever used because the next day you can actually feel like your skin is more plump and hydrated when you use this. So I do recommend this product and you can get Belief at Sephora Canada now, which is good. Um, I had this mini green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. This was just like a sample like I guess a deluxe sample size because there was quite a bit of product in there. Um, I really did like this. I think it, when I first started using it, I, oh yeah, because I put it on my eyes and if you put this like to remove your eye makeup, it's going to make your vision all cloudy and it feels like 
quite heavy but for the face this is really good it removes all your makeup and it doesn't leave your skin feeling like stripped or tight or anything which I like because I have dry skin so I would consider getting the full size of this I think it's pretty expensive and I do also want to try the drunk elephant one so we'll see but yeah this was really good um did I say it's by pharmacy and it was like a kind of coconut oil texture so it's like a solid and once you start rubbing it in it becomes more like an oil and if you add water it like comes a bit creamy so if you're into that I think you would like this oh I had I put my sponge this was a sponge I was using I mean it, there's nothing wrong with it but it's just like super old and you don't want to keep sponges like forever um so now i'm using the sonia kashuk one which is now like i can see the difference between different like qualities of sponges this is a drugstore brand it was fine um but i do notice now that i have the sonia kashuk one it's so much softer and like bouncier than this this is like kind of like firm so i'm done with this sponge and I'm moving on oh and I I put this in there to show you my Shiseido facial cottons I used up a whole pack of those I'm almost done another package but I'm actually not going to repurchase these because there's some at the drugstore now um, by Quo it's a Canadian brand and apparently they're like dupes for those and they're only like two or three dollars cheaper so I will do a test and let you guys know if they are real dupes if not I'll probably repurchase those in the future um, but those are eleven dollars but you do get um, how many 165 sheets um, some people cut them in half because they are quite big squares they're like that but I didn't bother I actually use one for both eyes most days so it was fine and then i have a belief um creamy cleansing foam moist so this is their cleanser for dry skin um i did like this i didn't notice anything special about it so i'm not like going to repurchase this but I mean I used the whole thing so it wasn't like bad for my skin or anything I just yeah I don't really remember much about it so <laughs> there's that um, I think the rest in here is makeup well sort of like lip balms and stuff so the first thing I have is my Aveda lip saver this was like the only lip balm I used for years but now that I know like about more other that's not a sentence <laughs> now that I know more about other lip balm brands um, I'm not as into this one because this is very waxy there is um, it, all the writing came off but I believe there's beeswax in here um, and it, you can tell like it's it's like the um, Bite Beauty Agave lip balm. It's like a thick waxy lip balm. So it's not like something I really enjoy wearing even though it works. And there used to be SPF in these. I don't know if they took it out or if they repackaged it for Canada because of our weird SPF laws. But um, yeah, for that it was really good. It was It's just very thick. So I'm not going to repurchase it because I have a million other lip balms to go through and I've noticed like my preferences for lip balm are now more like the Laneige lip sleeping mask or even um, the Revlon. The ones they have like different colors, those are like very, they feel more like oily kind of and not as like thick on the lips which is now what I prefer. So. I do have um, like two more of these I believe to go through but I don't need to repurchase that and then I have this mini glam glow glow starter 
that was hard to say glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer and nude glow this is pretty much the same product as my coconut skin smoothie primer from first aid beauty it's a bit more glowy but I think they do the same thing and I prefer the coconut smoothie primer so I wouldn't get this in the full size and I think it's like $60 or more for the, for the full size of this so I'm not going to repurchase it. Um, oh and here, this is what I was just talking about. The Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is a small size. I have the full size in my everyday makeup drawer. I went through another full size of this already, I believe. Or maybe another like deluxe sample size. But anyway, this is my favorite primer that I've tried so far. It's really good for dry skin. Um, it does have a nice glow. I'm wearing it today under a powder foundation so I think you can see um, the effect that it gives it so I think if you have oily skin maybe you wouldn't like this because it is quite glowy and hydrating but for me that's what I need so I really like this product and I would repurchase it and then the last thing I have is two mascaras the Revlon Mega Multiplier I really liked this mascara. If you're looking for a lengthening mascara from the drugstore, I think you would like this, but it is lengthening. It's not gonna give you volume. That's the brush. Um, I really like the shape of the brush too. I like these brushes that go thinner at the end because you can get them like in the inner corner and like for the lower lashes. But I really like this for lengthening, no volume whatsoever, but I don't really mind if my mascara doesn't give volume. I'm more of a lengthening person, so I like this. And I got that from Influencer Complimentary as well. And then I had a mini Tardis lash paint. Um, did I like this? I think so. It has, oh yeah. I did like this, but it has a um, plastic, I don't know if that's the word, like a rubbery wand, not a bristle wand. Usually I don't love that, but I do remember liking this mascara. Um, definitely more volumizing than the other one. But I'm not going to repurchase this because I have so many other mascaras to go through. Um, yeah, and it was nothing special, like I don't even remember what to say about it, so that should tell you. So that's it for my empties. Um, so just quickly showing you what I'm passing on, um, all to my mom, because <laughs> I'm sure she would like these products. I have, um, the VDL Radiance Fix Mist. If you guys saw, I did a whole video on all these VDL products that I got from Influencer. Um, this was the Radiance Fix Mist. It looks like that. Um, there was nothing wrong with it, but I have so many mists already. I just bought that Watermelon Glow one recently. And I have other Radiance Mists, so, and she did say, like, she wanted this when she saw it, so I'm going to pass it on to her because I don't need it in my collection. And the VDL Lumilayer Primer, they sent me two primers, and I preferred the other one, so I'm going to give this one to her. It looks like this. Um, it's like a, you know, this kind of primer. It's a lotion. It has some glow to it, but the other one is more hydrating, I think. So I'll give this one to her. And I don't really love the smell of it, so we'll see if she likes it. And then this uh, Lala Retro Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is the second time I've tried to like this product because so many people do, but I, it's just too, I don't know if it's like too rich 
where there's something in it that doesn't work well with my skin because every time I use this I break out so yeah I don't know it must be my skin because most people like this product that have dry skin so I'm gonna let my mom test it out see if she likes it it's just a deluxe size anyway um, and then I'm passing on the bite beauty line and define lip primer because I just realized I have two of these <laughs> I don't know how that happened um, the other ones in my everyday makeup drawer and this is like obviously a full-size one so I'm gonna pass that on to her and the physician's formula refreshment cucumber and bamboo eye de puffer this just didn't work for me um, I like the feeling of it and I like the idea of this type of product but it it gave me like those little milia bumps um, under my eye so it's just like too oily I guess um, for me so I'll see if she likes it it's like pretty much still full so yeah those are products I'm passing on so that's it for this video now I can finally recycle those products and get them out of my site um, but I'll do like I'll keep accumulating things and I'll do another video when the bag fills up again so that probably won't be very often because I don't wear makeup every day um, so you probably won't see a lot of makeup empties on my channel but if you still want to see you know skincare and things like that um, let me know by leaving a like on this video yeah and subscribe if you haven't already let me know if you've tried any of these products um, oh yeah and if you have a recommendation for shampoo and conditioner for dry frizzy wavy hair <laughs> let me know too so yeah I'll see you in my next video bye